Good morning, everyone. It is December 2nd, Saturday at about 7.45 a.m. And this is a shot looking at our gorgeous, brand spanking new downtown Blowing Rock web camera. More about that maybe in a few moments. But I uh, just want to kind of say that this uh, report, this little bit of a tour of the mountaintops and the ski areas this morning is brought to you in part by the Hemlock Inn. Discover the magic of Blowing Rock, North Carolina by staying at the Hemlock Inn. This historic inn is set just off of Main Street in downtown Blowing Rock and is within walking distance of shops, pubs, dining, and more. There are not many things that are more magical during the cold holiday season than walking into the downtown area with all of the Christmas lights on display. And the Hemlock Inn is a Blowing Rock tradition. See more information about rates and availabilities at www.hemlockin.net. Back to it. This is a live shot again of downtown Blowing Rock. And what I thought I would do real quick is kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour. It's a rainy morning, but we've been seeing a lot of messaging on the new Discord channel and uh, other things about how much snow melt uh, is happening with that rainfall. And we just want to kind of debunk, debunk that. As you can see here, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of not only the ski areas, uh, but also around some of the mountaintop communities that make up uh, that magical uh, winter time, winter wonderland that we all know and love in the mountain communities of the southeast and mid-Atlantic. Uh, this is Appalachian Ski Mountain. This is the main slope cam. Right now we're looking at a zoom shot up at Big Apple. Uh, but you can see pretty good snow depth there and really good side-to-side -side coverage, despite the fact that we had a little bit of light to moderate rain kind of going uh, on and off most of the day. This is looking over to the right side of the mountain. Now I'm just going to kind of go alphabetically by state. You can see uh, some of these views are going to be a little bit rainy, foggy looking. A little discoloration as you look down here, uh, but not too bad and good coverage again um, at beach, despite the fact that they only got to make snow for a few days uh, to get open today. Today is opening day at Beach Mountain and uh, but yet there is good coverage all the way around. You can see the shot of the summit cam as it scrolls back around and looks at the top of Shaniha, Upper Shaniha. You can see good good snow coverage up top there as well. Uh, some of these views I may catch out of order a little bit. We'll just see. Uh, this is a good close-up shot from the Beach Mountain Sledding Hill which is across Beach Mountain Parkway uh, but a nice shot showing the side of Beach Mountain. Uh, here's Chris Bates actually doing his thing this morning at 7.49. Uh, Chris is out there every morning. I actually caught him, <clears throat> excuse me, I caught him at the top of the uh, Hemp Hill camera uh, run. I'll show you that shot right now. There we go. That's live from the top of Hemp Hill. Uh, you can see here. Uh, but actually, earlier this morning, uh, you know, Chris is down here right now. Uh, but earlier this morning, I caught Chris at the top of the mountain there. I was actually watching. Uh, but Chris is out early and often. And as you can tell, he's done a great job of grooming this morning. Uh, it's just something he loves to do. He's kind of a renaissance man in that respect. Uh, but he's out there. And you can see good side-to-side -side coverage, good depth over here, too. Uh, so this snow isn't going anywhere read a lot of reports, a lot of people talking about wet bulb and uh, temperatures and the fact there's going to be a lot of snow melt and, um, you know, it just doesn't quite happen that way with man-made snow, but um, that's for another day. I'm not going to belabor that point. Um, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. This is at the base of Sugar Mountain, uh, good side-to-side -side coverage. Uh, Kenny and I skied with Rob and a few other guys from the Discord channel uh, on Thursday and I've got to tell you other than the fact that my legs were shot after just a couple of runs down top to bottom the conditions were great and as you can tell uh, good coverage there it looks like they've already got some people uh, waiting for uh, Gunther and their team to give them the thumbs up that they can uh, hit sugar but um, it looks good there as well uh, I'm going to scroll down now to West Virginia <coughs> I should say up to West Virginia this is a good shot at Canaan Valley. You can see good snow coverage here, although I um, haven't gotten much in the way of any kind of uh, ability to make snow now over the last 24 hours or so. I was a little surprised to see on the mid-station shot here, uh, no snow. This was actually covered 
in natural snowfall the other day and it kind of uh, misled me I wasn't purposeful but kind of even misled me because I was thinking it was uh, a lot of man-made snow on this portion of the mid mid, uh, mid station portion of the mountain uh, but that was not the case uh, let's take you over now as we scroll to the top of that mid station shot you can see uh, some man-made snow still um, hangs out but anyway let's go over to snowshoe mountain and the boathouse that's at the bottom of the Balhuda run. You can see it's it's not pretty, but there's a lot of depth right here. Uh, where if I had to bet, that's probably a good 40, 45 inches, 48 inches of uh, man-made snow. Of course, there's some other snow mixed in. You can see a bit of a whale here. Uh, saw some really cool shots um, yesterday from some of the other ski areas where they were really showing uh, some pretty sizable whales that the uh, snowmakers made. Uh, but you can see they've done grooming here ready for their crowd to hit the mountain today as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's from the boathouse. The skitter shot up top, let's see if we can get that. Uh, that's a good shot there again. You can see somebody already uh, ready to hit it. They're kind of out there testing their gear just before 8 a.m. Uh, so you can see plenty of good snowfall there uh, for snowshoes opening day ceremonies. Uh, let's go to Timberline. Where I was looking earlier today, it looks pretty doggone good there at Timberline as well. Uh, coming all the way off this salamander, coming down uh, over to the bottom of the, uh, the all the lift houses in the main lift area. Anyway, super conditions there. Uh, they're having a uh, an opening uh, day of sorts themselves, uh, kind of a sneak peek kind of thing that they do, but it looks pretty good. Let's go over to Winter Place where you can see some pretty sizable whales. Uh, this bad boy here, pretty amazing. I was looking at it uh, first thing this morning, and uh, uh, at the end of the season, they talk about how long will it take for that whale to to uh, melt down. Uh, that'd be quite a while. So uh, they look like they're ready to start pushing some snow around pretty soon as well and get open. Uh, we'll talk to uh, those guys uh, over the next couple of days. But anyway, this is another shot at Winter Place ski area. And you can see the main portion of the mountain looking great. Um, I was looking at Bryce Resort in Virginia earlier. Okay, now it's cleared up. Earlier it was so uh, blurry there, but it was mainly because of the fog uh, that it kind of, um, I guess, kept the camera from focusing. Uh, but it looks good. And this new camera at Bryce is really picking up some great shots. Uh, and you'll be able to see the top of the mountain when, it's, when the fog clears. Uh, Bryce is looking good, and they are open today as well. Uh, not so for Homestead. Uh, they've made snow a couple times. They're excited. I heard from Lynn Swan there the other day and uh, talking about the multi, multi-million dollars worth of reno and work that's been done at the Omni Homestead. Uh, we look forward to sharing that information with you, some pretty cool videos and other things, and uh, they'll get right back to snowmaking ASAP, and uh, this place will look just absolutely magical uh, for Christmas. So um, as I was looking at Massanut a little bit earlier, there were two uh, full um, um, groomers that were set up there, uh, had set up shop on that portion of the mountain. I've got some screen captures that I'll share if you wanna kind of look at a tour over on the main page at Ski Southeast in a bit. But uh, they were out grooming in force and Massanut and uh, definitely looking good for skiers and snowboarders today. Uh, looking good there. I think they actually had their tubing area. Uh, yeah, they were making snow the other day. You can see here from this shot, and then it scrolls back down on the other side. I'm not sure that camera's set to run first thing this morning to pan, tilt, and zoom, so may have to come back to that one. Um, Wintergreen, I'll show you some sh another angle here. This is their uh, top of skyline camera. And you can see a lot of snowmaking that took place over the last few days. Um, they are open for snow tubing, not quite ready uh, for prime time, not quite ready to open up for skiers and snowboarders. Uh, we'll probably get the word from uh, Lori Zaloga and their team uh, any day now, but they're looking pretty good, as you can tell. Um, over Gatlinburg, uh, we're going to get a zoomed shot here. There you go. That's of the tubing hill. Uh, they had this bad boy ready to open in October, uh, and in fact it was uh, at the end of October. So uh, they've been making snow on the main portion of the mountain as well, and uh, they look pretty good. I, was, uh, I heard from their team as well, and 
over as excited to get the season underway here for skiers and snowboarders as well. And that'll happen uh, any moment we're expecting that word. So uh, anyway, take a look at that cool old truck. That's pretty sweet. Uh, anyway, let's go over to Deep Creek Lake. This is in uh, Wisp Resort in Maryland. Uh, see if I can get you a better shot here. There you go. You can see that they've been making snow. That will pan back around in a moment. Uh, but they've been making quite a bit of snow. Let me see if I can go to their Mountain Park camera. There you go. You can see it coming all the way up. Uh, some of the other trails, as you look at the mountain, that would be on skiers right. Uh, but the resort Mountain Park uh, looks pretty doggone good. There you go. And this is the uh, Tubing Hill. Uh, this is, I believe I'm right on that. This is their uh, unbelievable Tubing Hill. Uh, but they're just not quite groomed for tubing quite yet. Let me see if I can get back over here. And there you go. You can see this is the top of Squirrel Cage. So uh, they're almost ready for prime time as well. And then last but not least, I thought I'd just kind of give you guys a quickie tour around some of the more beautiful uh, mountaintop towns that we have. This is a beautiful live shot. If you go over on Ski Southeast in a little bit or our Facebook page, you'll see they've got some unbelievable cool little globes that light up. Uh, as if they're fireflies in those treetops. But this is downtown uh, Waynesville, North Carolina. Um, I had I captured it about an hour ago and, and uh, some gorgeous shots with their lights already up, but that was kind of cool. Uh, let me see if I can get you to, this is the uh, Beach Mountain Parkway camera. This will pan back around and show you Beach Mountain Parkway here in a second, hopefully. And uh, these are some of just the towns that um, you know a lot of our ski areas are located in so we always show you the ski areas and we show you the slopes and i did want to show you that this morning because a lot of talk about all the snow melt just bear in mind pretty impressive that only with a couple of days all of our ski areas that had made snow and you know readied themselves to get open um, that snow's not dissipated that much i mean it's just part of the process but they're looking actually pretty good uh, this, again, is the brand spanking new downtown uh, Blowing Rock camera. I'll share some pictures over on Ski Southeast on a quick tour, uh, but uh, Kenny and I were on top of that building on Thursday. Thankfully, it was one of the milder days this week, uh, but we got this bad boy going. And it's capable of uh, displaying 4K. The internet there is not quite capable of pushing that kind of bandwidth, so we've tuned it back just a little bit, but it's still very sharp, very clear. We're excited about having that new camera uh, up and running. Uh, let me see if I can give you, this is uh, King Street in Boone, showing some pretty Christmas color as well. Um, and then let's go over to Bryson City, where we were showing, uh, that may not come up good there. Let's go here real quick, there we go. This is at the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. In fact, at any moment, this camera should pan over. Um, and this is a gorgeous time of the year to go uh, take that train ride. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful, a um, lot, of, lot of gorgeous views uh, on that particular ride. This is scrolling the other way, but this, this kind of shows you some of the downtown area. This will come back around in a moment, and unless the train's already left the station, uh, it was there about an hour ago, and you can kind of, for you uh, train bus, you'll get a good shot at the Great Smoky Mountain Railway. Hang on one second, or railroad. Let's see if this scrolls back around. There we go. I think we're coming back. You can tell they're already trimmed out for the holidays and looking pretty. There's the train. Very cool. And it should sharpen up. There we go. Nice sharp image there. So pretty cool. Uh, hit the Nant uh, Nantahala Outdoor Center. They've got some lights. This was all lit up pretty uh, just a couple of hours ago. So sorry, I can't show you that now. But anyway, that's pretty much it for our quick tour. Um, I hope you guys don't fall prey to all the information out there that kind of talks about all of the snow melt, um, you know, yeah, we get a little bit of uh, deterioration. Bear in mind, they've only made snow for a few days here and there. So it's remarkable uh, with the multi-million dollars of investment that the skiers have put into it. 
that they were even able to get open and make the kind of whales uh, that they're making pretty much all around. And so uh, there's a couple of opening day ceremonies. I'm sure Josh Sullivan over on First Tracks is already talking about that this morning. Uh, be sure to check out our Discord channel. Uh, we're enjoying a lot of banter going back and forth there. Pretty cool stuff. So be sure to uh, go over to Ski Southeast, go up to Community, and click on the Discord channel. That's kind of fun. I uh, hope you guys will join up. It's free and uh, very interactive. Fun place to uh, meet and greet other fellow skiers and snowboarders as well. So that's going to be it for today. Enjoy your Saturday and your weekend, and check back soon.